Hey guys, Licky HD here, and this is how to get the new Lumion Dragodine, also known as the Egg King. In this video, we're going to be going over this Lumion as well as the new raids inside of Lumion Legacy. If you guys do enjoy this video, go down there, like, subscribe, let's just straight into it. Now, of course, the first thing that we have to go over is how do you actually get to, well, the raids. Now, the raids are basically going to look like this right here. It's a big kind of mass of rocks and grass with crystals coming out of it, and specifically for the Egg King, there are eggs shooting out of the sky, so it is a great visual indicator as to wherever it is on the map. However, you can also tell where it's on the map by going up here to your weather tab and seeing what routes the eggs are currently raining on. Anytime the eggs are raining on a route, you know that the raid den will also be on this route. Now, in order to enter into this raid, all you have to do is just walk up to it, and as you can see, you can either join somebody's current lobby or you can host your own. Now, pressing host, you will see this. Easy, normal, and nightmare. Now, nightmare you can only unlock after you've beaten the normal mode, so for now, we're going to be looking at easy. Basically, all you do is you click on it and then you set up your team. Do note there are some restrictions to this. Obviously you can't have more than two people in your raid lobby and you also cannot have two of the same Lumion on your team. Other certain moves and abilities also don't work in these like Final Ruse, Parting Gift, etc. Stuff like that for some reason just does not work for these raids. Now if you are going in by yourself obviously it will fill you in with an NPC. However if you want to open this up to the public press the open button as you can see people will join. However if too many people are in you will have to kick some people for now i will show you guys the npcs Going into the battle, you are going to see this cinematic right here, the Raging Dragodine, and it will start the battle, and again, as you can see, you will have an NPC, and it will have a full team of Lumians. Now, these Lumians are going to be a little bit on the lower side, but depending on, you know, whatever level that the raid is. Now, once you're inside of the battle right here, you're going to notice this big health bar right here, and this is very important. Obviously, you're going to want to have Lumians that are super effective against this thing, and also some stuff that has status effects, and this is a great example right here from the NPC. Always use your status effects like poison at the start of the round because basically what will end up happening is at the end of every single one of these bars the Lumion right here will actually replenish all of its status conditions and get rid of them. Alright so I just used my move Draco Beam and what the Lumion will do is let out a high pitched screech and as you can see right here the poison ability is gone. So again set up all of your abilities at the start of each of one of these bars. Now this Lumion can also raise its stats as you can see right here, and if you use moves that will actually lower this Lumion stats, at the end of one of its health bars, it will completely nullify it. So it will basically remove all of its stats and bring it back to normal. It can also sharply raise its attack, a ranged attack, melee attack, and melee defense, so it is definitely a pretty tough boss. However, once you defeat it, you are going to be getting a loot pool. Now this loot pool does vary depending on the difficulty of the raid. The higher the raid, the better rewards that you are going to get. As you can see, I did this one star and unfortunately I did not get the key item that we are looking for. The developers are planning on releasing a loot table showcasing all of the available items and their percentages, and once they release that, I will be making a separate video talking about that. However, the Lumion that you're going to want to evolve is Durego, and the item that you're going to need is the Fractured Crown. I actually got this Fractured Crown right here from a 1-star raid, so it is possible to get them from lower-end raids. It is just, of course, a little bit harder. Now, once you have the Fractured Crown right here, press Use and then go on to your Durego. I don't believe your Durego has to be a specific level for this thing to work, However, again, you can use it on any Durego color and it will stick with the original color scheme and like little patterns that it has when it evolves. And as you can see right here, whenever it evolves, it will keep the patterning and everything as well as on its wings right here. And you can see that now you have yourself a Dragodine. Dragodine also gets a new move called Egg Storm, and this move is a double hitting move. You can stop to read it right here. This is a move that it does use inside of the raids and is pretty decent. Now clicking on Dragodine, as you can see, it is a dark and air type right here with the ability Anomaly and the stats. You can stop to read them all right here. But the main things to know, obviously, are 135 ranged attack. So some pretty high range attack and then again if you want to stop to read everything else go ahead but yeah guys as for dragon that is about all you need to know in order to get this lumion again once the loot table is posted i will be talking about all of the drops as well as the percentages in an upcoming video very shortly so stay tuned for that go down there like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace